how to list products on eBay from CJ Dropshipping. CJ Dropshipping is a popular platform that allows you to source products and have them ship directly to your customers. If you're an online seller looking to expand your sales channel, you might be interested in listing your CJ Dropshipping products on eBay. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of listing products on eBay from CJ Dropshipping, including setting up an eBay account, linking it with your CJ Dropshipping account, and creating your listing. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to sell your CJ Dropshipping products on eBay and reach a wider audience. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create an eBay account. Now, to create an eBay account, you're simply going to go to eBay and look over here on the top left, you would be able to see sign in or register. You're simply going to click on register. If you have an account, you can simply click on sign in. Now, over here, we can create an account. We could either create a personal account or a business account. We're going to create a personal account for the meantime. Over here, this is where you will type your first name and then your surname and then your email over here. You're also going to type your password after entering your email. You could also create an account through Google, Facebook, or Apple. Now, after doing this process, you would be redirected to another page where it's going to ask you for your number. You're simply going to verify your number and after doing that, you would be able to create your eBay account. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to cjdropshipping.com and we're going to create our account over here also. We're simply going to click on register over here on the top right. And over here, we're simply going to enter our email, password. We would need to retype our password to confirm it. And you could also enable this option over here if you do have an invitation code. You're simply going to click on this button over here to agree to the user agreement and privacy. And then we're going to click on next. You could also create an account through WhatsApp, Facebook, Google, Apple, or Shopify. We're simply going to click on next. And over here, we're going to select our username. I'm going to go with Cesar. Then we're going to enter our first name once again, Bustria, just like that. And over here, this is where we will type in our number. After doing that, we can see that our registration is a success. And you could answer the user questionnaires over here if you would like. But for now, we're going to go with skip now. And we would be redirected to the homepage of CJ Dropshipping. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on my CJ over here on the top. And we would be redirected to this page over here. Now, as you can see over here, this is our dashboard or where we will be able to manage our account. As you can see here, we have inventory alert. We have source product, pending payments, pending CJ payments, coupon cards, and many more. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to look over here on the left side. We can see that we have My CJ, Orders, Cart, Products, Print on Demand, and Store Authorization. We're going to click on Store Authorization, and we're going to scroll down. As you can see, there's a lot of stores over here. We have Shopify, WED2C, TikTok, WooCommerce, eBay, API, Etsy, and many more. As you can see here, we have the eBay option. We're simply going to click this and we're going to click on add store over here. And as you can see, we will be redirected to this page over here. Make sure that your eBay is currently logged in. As you can see here, I am logged in into my eBay account and we're going to click on agree and continue. And just like that, our authorization is a success. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my CJ over here. And we're going to check out our store authorization once again. Click on eBay. And as you can see here, our store list is currently listed over here. This is our store name over here. As you can see here, it's the same thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open our dashboard over here once again. Click on my CJ and click on purchase list. And now over here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on add purchase. And we would be able to see the different products that we would be able to sell into our eBay store. As you can see here, we have chairs, 
flashlights, designs, clothing, and slippers. There's also shoes and different types of products. If you have a specific product that, that you would like to sell, you can simply search the keywords over here or the SKU or the product name on the search bar over here. You could also filter out the results by clicking on the category over here and focus on the specific category. For example, men's clothing. And this will show us all the men's clothing that is being sold. Now I'm going to choose a random product, for example, this one over here. And we would be redirected to the product page of this specific product that we have selected. As you can see here, we have the name, the price, the color, the quantity, and many more options. Now, as you can see here, we have this options over here. We have connect, list, sell and earn, buy now, customize, add to queue, add to SKU list, and a photo request. Now, if you already sold this product on your eBay account, you could simply click on connect and this will simply connect with your original product that is already being sold in eBay. But if not, we're simply going to click on list over here. And this will show us this pop-up over here. As you can see, we have our store name over here, our, our eBay store, and we could see the listing site, and we could also see the shipping from. As you can see right now, the default is China Warehouse, and there is no other options. You could also select category over here. You could reselect by clicking this. You would be able to click this, and then make sure that your category is correct so that people would be able to find your item much more easily. We're going to go and click on clothing and shoes and accessories over here. And over here, we can see the different variants that we have. Now, if you don't want to edit any of this information, you can simply click on list now. Or if you want to edit, you can click on edit before listing. You could also see that ship my orders most to USA is the option over here. You could change this by clicking on the different countries over here. You could also change the shipping method over here. Currently, it's CJ packing ordinary you could add or change it to other options over here now we're going to click on edit before listing and over here we are seeing another pop-up this is where we will be able to edit information about our product like the title over here we could change it to whatever name we want you could add more tags you could click on the description over here where you will be able to edit the description information maybe add more about your shop information you could also edit the images over here the variants the shipment and others over here now after editing the different information that you would like to change you can simply click on list now and it's going to ask us to select a product we're going to select all of these and click on list now we're going to ask the quantity and after doing this, you can simply click on list now and you would be able to list the specific product into your eBay account or eBay store and people would be able to buy your product from eBay and then CJ, the cjdropshipping.com platform over here would send the product to them directly. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.